Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a different game for once, it seems like. Today, we are on the game, the marvelous and amazing game that is Fallout 4. If you haven't played it before, this is a really incredibly amazing game. I've actually done this for a few live streams in the past. Um, I do believe they're still up on my channel, but you guys, for the very first time ever, we're actually doing a video on this game. Now, today, guys, I'm going to be showing all of you awesome viewers and all you awesome people how to duplicate in Fallout 4. Now, there's a few glitches going around. I believe there's actually two glitches right now on how to get unlimited caps. This is going to be one of them. I will probably end up making a video on the other one if you guys want me to in the future. Um, if this video does really well for reviews and if you guys do, you know, take this kind of uh, video pretty well, I may make another video relatively soon. Um, I also believe there is a unlimited XP glitch pretty much on uh, Fallout 4 as well. I've actually done it myself. I do know this still works. Um, this glitch, I'm doing this on PlayStation 4, but I do know this works for Xbox One as well. Also, if it works for computer version of Fallout, please let me know down below and let everybody else know, you know, know down below. I'm no expert Fallout 4, uh, but I do know a lot of things about glitches, as you may know if you've been subscribed to me for a long time and you've uh, watched a lot of my Minecraft duplication glitch videos. But you guys, let's get right into this video. Now, for this duplication glitch, it is incredibly simple, honestly. I feel, honestly, I feel like it goes without, you know, ex in a sense, uh, steps or explaining. But no doubt in the description or in the I know, comments down below, I'll probably have a pinned comment saying exactly how to do this step by step in case you do need, you know, a written down step by step tutorial and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And if you do have any problems, let me know. Now, to do this, you know, in a sense, to do this really incredibly simple and incredibly easy glitch, all you're going to need to do is be able to use your workshop, which to do that, all you need to do is be in your one of your, you know, safe zones. Um, Sanctuary or Red the Red Rocket, pretty much anywhere like that that is a safe area where you can actually access your workbench. This is where you can do the glitch, and uh, this is where you know you'll be able to do all this kind of cool stuff. Now this glitch will include you needing a store. Um, I believe even you know without pretty much anything at all, you can already build the first trading stand. Um, it will cost you about 300 caps, as you can see there. This is the cheapest one I believe for about 300 caps. But trust me, it will, it will be worth it. You will make your money back in genuinely about a minute, not even that. So uh, trust me, it will be worth it. Now I'm going to just show you guys real quick how to do this with the average trading sand which is only worth 300 or only costs 300 to build and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the more expensive and the, the pretty much the best trading stand uh, which is the Armour Emporium which you can actually sell for 1500 caps. So yeah let's begin with the first one. Now for this guys all you're really going to need to do is place it down. You're going to need to just place this down and real quick listen to these steps. So once you have it placed down and you're kind of, you can just see the green outline when you look at it. You do not want to be holding it and able to move it. You want to just have it just sitting down pretty much still. What you want to do is this. Now I'm going to quickly just explain what these do and then what we're going to do exactly for the glitch. If you don't know and you're in a sense a noob to follow, pressing square will allow you to actually scrap the item or you know scrap anything. It'll give you about half the price of it if it's something like a trading stand and it'll give you maybe half the materials that you used to actually make it itself. I believe that, I do believe if you're on Xbox you'll be pressing X and if you're on PlayStation you'll be play, you will be pressing square to scrap and uh, yeah that's pretty much what scrapping is okay so just remember that. Now you've also got storing which is another part of this glitch. If you press store this will basically put this item into your workshop and just keep it there and save pretty much. You don't have to place it right then and there you can maybe place it later on or you can just keep it there in case you want to build something with it maybe later on in the future and maybe just not at that point in time. Um, circle on the PlayStation and on the Xbox it will be B. Now getting into the glitch. Doing this glitch will require you to actually have some decent timing skills which I know can be a little bit of a pain for some people but trust me it isn't that hard honestly. It will take you a few, uh, a few tries but trust me you will make your money back and it really is incredibly easy so trust me the few tries that you do will be worth it in the end. I, I can assure you of that. So basically what you guys are, what you guys are going to be wanting to click or what you guys are going to be wanting to click or button wise is going to be square and then circle. Now you're going to need to do this relatively fast. Uh, you're going to need to click square basically to scrap it and then what you're going to need to do as well is click, is click circle to store it. Now as you can see that I just stored it so it'll disappear. If it does do that right away if you do make, if you do make a mistake as you can see that at the very bottom it says store traders uh, or store trader it says one. That's just saying that I've got one in my inventory right now or on my workshop so you can place that back. You don't have to buy it back just in case anyone does that. But basically, here's the steps you want to do. So you want to click square, and as soon as you click that, and as soon as you let go of square, you want to instantly press circle. So I'm going to try and do it really fast. You're going to want to click square down, let go of it, press circle, and hold circle down. Okay, so like that. There you go. That was first time perfectly. There you go. And as you can see here, if you've done it correctly, if you hold circle down after you, you know, you press square, let go, press circle instantly, and hold circle down, what will happen is you'll have two, in a sense, error screens up. They're not error screens, but you'll have two like little square boxes up. One will say up front, it should say scrap trading stand or, you know, scrap 
the actual thing you're scrapping right now to uh, you know sell obviously it could be any of the stores pretty much and then behind that you'll actually notice it's got one of the other little warning signs in a sense or little boxes which is you know basically saying do you want to store this now to do which once you do this as you're holding them circle as long as you have these messages you want to click x you, you want to keep holding down circle and at the same point you want to you know click x once that'll scrap it and then click x again holding down circle and then you're going to store it now as you can see here we've got one in our storage and that just shows there you go that's how to do it now that is pretty much how to do the glitch itself and i'm going to do it with the more expensive ones right now because i really do, you know i don't want to waste too much of your uh, i don't want to i don't I, I do not want to waste anybody's time here so yeah let me just show you all how to do this so as you can see here i've got no more armor stands or sorry no more stores um of the armor variation in my uh, workbench so if i get any right now i'll be buying them remember how much money i've got i've got 75,000 bottle caps that's obviously because of this glitch and let's just try this a few times real quick okay so that's one Gonna buy it back, place it down, remember, I, or just pretty much place down the original one into your workbench. Press square, then circle. Oh, square, then circle. I've got a third time's luck. Nope. <laughs> Yo, so let me just try this again. There we go. Square, then circle, and then hold down circle. And as you can see, you'll get the two like little boxes up. You want to tap X on both of them. And then there you go. And as you can see here right now, I've got 78K. Just keep doing that again. Nope. Let me just try again. It can take a few times, honestly, but it really isn't that hard. I, I can say this right now successfully, guys. I just started playing this game again today because uh, I haven't played it in a good few weeks. I kind of gave up from it because uh, I just I was a little bit too kind of what some would call sweaty on it. I'd really honest, I was playing this game so much it got unbelievable, and uh, I was just not even making videos at the point in time because it was just becoming that addictive. The game it is a really an incredibly addictive game and an amazing storyline as well. So. I'm just saying if you're playing this game and you're just kind of beginning watch yourself you will end up spending days on this I can assure you. Now there you guys go I've already done that a good few times in the past minute I probably just gave myself what an extra 15,000 bottle caps which in Fallout is still a relatively large amount of money like that is still a lot of money you can buy yourself a lot of ammo and um, a lot of materials to build with and a lot of other awesome things guys and there you go that is it that's how to do the duplication glitch and that's how simple and how easy it is and uh, yeah. So as always guys, that is the end of today's video. If you did go to enjoy it though and you did find this incredibly easy and incredibly well made or incredibly simple, please be sure to drop a like down below and let me know what you thought of the video. It would be very, very, very appreciated. I know this isn't Minecraft content, but I really am still trying to branch out my content valuations. I don't want to just be linked to just one kind of game. I really do enjoy a lot of different games. So to be able to make videos on all of them, it would be honestly amazing. But I do want to hear all your opinions down below in the comment section. But yeah, as I said, if you did go to enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Because I upload videos, not really like this, but I upload videos all the time, pretty much every single day. And you guys just don't want to miss out on them. But yeah, other than that, thank you for watching today's video. As I said, I hope you did go to enjoy it. I will see you guys on tomorrow's, and peace out.